In this video, we're going to use TI-83 Plus, and this goes along with the TI-84 Plus and Silver Editions, uh, to calculate radicals. So the, the very first thing we, I assume is that you understand the structure of the radical, and so this is just going to be the calculator part. To calculate the square root of a number, first I want to check to make sure my mode is correct here, and it is. To calculate the square root of a number, you're simply going to press the second button and then the x squared button. You'll notice that in this calculator it's a yellow square root, a yellow radical symbol over top. In the 84 or 84 silver, it is blue because your second button is blue. So I'm going to press that and what you should get is you should get a radical, sim a radical symbol or sign and then an open set of parentheses. If you have the updated 84 operating system, you won't see the parentheses, but what you will get is a flashing cursor underneath the radical symbol. Now just press the number underneath the radical sign. This is called the radicand. This here is called the radicand. And so we're just going to simply enter that radicand, close our parentheses, and I, I suggest you get in the habit of doing that. It's going to help later on. Press enter and it gives us 9. Now this is only going to give you the principal root. It will not give you the negative root. So if you're looking for, oh, what two numbers squared give you 81? Well, the answer is 9 and negative 9. The calculator won't do that. You have to stick a negative out in front of the, of the um, radical before you do it if you want the negative. So let's try this next one. I'll press second, radical, and the number. And you'll notice we get a decimal. That's the structure of irrational numbers. 10 is not a perfect square, and therefore it is irrational. And it gives us a decimal that never stops and it never repeats. Okay, now the last one here is to demonstrate what the calculator will do if you don't have your settings correct or if you've never heard of an imaginary number. So we're going to press second and press our x squared to activate our radical sign negative 30, that negative next to the enter button. Don't put subtract. The calculator knows the difference. If we press enter here, we come up with an error. It says non-real answer. So we can just say this is not real or non-real. If you are familiar with imaginary and you're wondering how do I do this with imaginary numbers, if you're not, by the way, I'd stop the video. If you're familiar with it, go to mode down at the towards the bottom you'll see real a plus b i and r e to the theta i you want a plus b i so select that press enter and now if you move off of it it'll be darkened press second quit and now redo that same problem and what you'll find is you'll have an i at the end and so here's our little i to signal that this there's we're dealing with a square root of a negative number and that's how you calculate the square root on the TI-83 and 84.